I've always just sold originals, mm -hmm. but I had a friend who wanted a, a print mm -hmm. of one of my pieces. Mm -hmm. So I just got it done. It actually looks great. So Amazing. I'm thinking about doing the print market somewhat. Yes. You shouldn't be thinking about it somewhat. You 100% have to do it. Oh, like. And I could, I could, I can articulate the whys if you, if you like. Yeah, please. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you a graphic here on a map for a second, but what I want to show you in the short term is everyone's followers, fans, emails, whatever attention you have, all of those people, no matter who you are, whether it's your list or my list, my, your followers, my followers, they, they inevitably distribute on a socioeconomic bell curve. Okay. You have the lower income folks on the socioeconomic scale. You have lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, and the high net worth individuals, right? It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's just a bell curve, and that's just the way that it works. And likely with your originals, you only have price points for the higher end of the scale, and you don't have price points for the lower end of the scale. Now, when you, when you approach this business with a proper perspective, what you realize is that you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life, number one, okay? That's a long time. That's a great many years of selling art. Sorry, it's getting hot in here. I'm taking this jacket off. Um, that's number one. Number two, the socioeconomic bell curve is not a fixed feature. There's somebody that's living in their mother's basement right now that couldn't afford to buy a postcard from you, but guess what? They love what you're doing. And seven years from now, they might be ready to buy something, right? So one of the things that we do is that we put together a business plan of sorts for our customers and I can kind of show you the, the, the nuts and the bolts of it. It's basically like a little plan to follow when you get started. Like, is your website live? No, get the website live. Does your website meet best practices? No, get it done. You need price points under $100. You need price points from $100 to $1,000. You need price points above $1,000, okay? You need to have a combination of open editions, prints, limited editions, prints that are limited to a certain thing, and originals, which you already have done. I, I believe you need to activate merchandise as well, okay? A lot of people poo-poo merchandise, to which I reply, let me know the last museum you've been into that doesn't have a gift shop. Which one? Can anyone name one that doesn't have a gift shop? You can't. They all have gift shops because guess what? They understand that they need to keep the, the, the lights on at the museum, right? And the merchandise offers a bunch of ways for people to pay, buy things that they appreciate, okay, and, and love. And, and, and the other thing, Tristan, is that it, it takes an advertiser to explain this to, to, to somebody. When you sell on the low end, let's say it's a coffee mug or a calendar or a small print that goes in the bathroom or any of those lower ticket items, it's essentially like you getting a Facebook ad that you get a staple onto their wall, right? Or put into their kitchen cabinet. And you're not going to make a tremendous amount of money on it, okay? Especially on those low ticket items. But what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to place you, your brand, top of mind in that person's head every day of their life that they're home for the next I don't know how many years, right? And when you, where you miss with just originals is thinking like everyone's ready to buy or can't afford to buy an original right now. It's just not the case. Like if, if we surveyed 100 people that were in your audience, there's probably only two that have their hand up right now that need an original, maybe even just one. And that will change throughout time, which is why you need to be marketing consistently. But when you open yourself up to these cheaper price points, one, you're, you're giving yourself the ability to get in on those people that are on the lower end of the socioeconomic scale or are just not ready to purchase an original and then it keeps you top of mind. But then also too, there's some people that just want to buy prints. They don't want to buy originals. There's some certain people that just want to buy limited editions. And you know what I showed on here, this is just a mathematical formula that works. Okay, it's just a mathematical formula that works. Some people want open editions, some people want limited editions, some people want originals. Having those three levels and tiers of price points, all, all, all it is is it like it, it, it just turns you into a cactus, right? And what do I mean by a cactus? A cactus has evolved to survive in these hostile environments and get literally capture every single solitary bit of moisture that comes into the air and store it, right? So you want to be like that too. The, the, the moisture is the ROI that you would get from your marketing activities, right? And if you go out and you do these marketing activities and your original started $1,000 and you brought in 65 people that would have bought something under $100 or 25 people that would have bought something under $500, they're gone now. They're gone. 
And the chances of you getting them back just the way that the world works today is very, very small. And so you're just, you keep missing out on all those sales. And not only are you missing out on, on those sales, they compound year after year after year, right? And, and you know, like every, every, every imaginable iteration abounds. You know, we get people that are constantly thinking they're smarter than our customers. There are five major media types. I believe an artist should offer all five. Wood, metal, acrylic, canvas, a fine art paper. You have the five, you've got everything on offer and you would be surprised. People like all five, they're different strokes or different folks. Limited editions. Some people only wanna buy the ones that are signed, hand signed by the artist. Some people could care less. They're just looking for the cheaper price or put the digital signature on there, I don't care, right? And you know, all these people that I talk to insist upon one thing or another and what they don't understand is that these are just mathematical formulas on how a business works. This is all the stuff they should have taught you in art school, but they never did. This is how you actually operate an art business that works, right? The gallerists know this. They know this, which is why they can exploit the hell out of artists and take 50% of their revenue, not tell them who's buying their work. So these are just like the simple steps that you need to take and start working on and start bolting into your business. And you will find out immediately how rewarding it is because it works. It's like... This is not anything new. It's been going on for generations and centuries, right? What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Q&A. What if you have your own question? First, uh, you can leave me a comment below on this YouTube video. I see them. I will respond. Uh, number two, uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe. It's very easy to do. There's some fancy motion graphics going across the screen now. Uh, but there's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. You'll know when we're live. You can come on and say, Patrick, I have a question. Uh, even from your YouTube app, which is super handy. And then the third is three times weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, free Zoom calls, we call them the Art Business Workshops. There's going to be a link uh, directly below me in this description. You can sign up, uh, they're free. You can come answer your question, which I'm sure will be awesome. And I will do my measure best to uh, make sure my advice is slightly better than marginal. Uh, no, but I'm, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll, I'll take a crack at answering it. Thanks, uh, thanks for checking out this video.